I suffered a massive hemorrhagic stroke on December 8th of 2022. Um, I did not go into the hospital until the next day. I slept all night. I drove home. Um, so I did quite a few things after knowing that something was wrong. Um, but I want to discuss some things, some signs that were leading up to my stroke that in hindsight I look back and I'm, you know, it's kind of obvious now that I was heading for a very bad place. Um, I was definitely, um, I definitely was not in my best spot, um, physically. So looking back, um, throughout the years as an adult, my weight has kind of had major swings. It would come down. Uh, I would get in a phase where I wanted to be healthy. I would eat better. Uh, I would do calorie counting. I would do keto. I would do all kinds of different things. So a lot of times I would gain a bit of weight and then I would go to like a diet of some kind and I would start losing the weight and I would go back down to where I was. And this has kind of become a habit um, as an adult probably the last 10 years or so. And um, the last, probably since COVID, um, it's been a little messed up. It hasn't really been the same. So instead of going through these phases where I would eat healthier, lose weight, get more physically active... Um, I would basically just start ignoring it, and I would just continue to put on weight. I would continue eating unhealthy, um, you know, lots of fast food. Uh, I would always say to myself, I want to get back to keto. I want to get back to calorie counting. I want to get back to losing weight. I want to be healthier. And I just never could do it. I would just push it off. And so eventually... Um, I had reached a point where I was at my heaviest weight as an adult, and that um, was something I, I was aware of. I knew that I was not healthy. I was, I would feel it. I wouldn't feel the same. Um, I would get kind of these feelings physically where it's like, okay, so I don't feel good. Something's not right. You know that kind of thing, and. Um, Shortly before my stroke, I would say maybe a few weeks before, um, I had gotten to the point where I was um, so out of shape that I started getting a pulsing sensation in the back of my head. And this isn't like a pulsing, like, you know, like a sinus pressure where sometimes your bones back here, like the bottom of your skull kind of get a little bit of pressure and a little bit of an ache. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like I could feel a vein pulsing like it was going hard, like there was something going on. And the first time I felt it, I got a little freaked out and I started thinking about my health. I started reflecting. Um, but like everything else, I just got sidetracked and I stopped uh, trying to do anything. And after that, um, not too long after that is when I had my stroke. And so looking back, the signs were there that I was not very healthy and that I was heading for a disaster. Somewhere I was heading for a disaster. Um, so I'm not surprised looking back that I ended up having a stroke. Um, I'm actually very thankful for what I escaped as far as my stroke could have been a lot worse. I survived. Um, I did have to relearn how to walk. I've had to uh, relearn how to use my left hand, uh, my left arm motion. I've had to work all those things back to a level where I can do things. Um, but as of the time of this video, I'm about five months into my stroke recovery and I'm doing very well. Um, right now I am down 42 pounds from the day I had my stroke. So I lost, I think, 
like uh, 22 pounds in the hospital and I've lost another 20 pounds since I've been home. So, um, things are definitely trending in the right direction. I've had plenty of people recently tell me that, you know, hey Dave, you look younger, you look uh, better physically. Um, just comments like that, that kind of confirm that, okay, I'm keeping it off and I'm continuing to drop. Um, but I just wanted to share this, this experience that, um, the signs were there. And then speaking of signs, uh, signs for having a stroke, you know, I watched my, my brother go through two strokes. Uh, the second one he never woke up from, but the first one, uh, he was in a year-long recovery, similar to what I'm doing, um, and I watched everything he went through. I knew this, you know, I thought I knew the signs, um, and then when I had my stroke, I didn't really have the same signs that he had. Um, mine was a lot more, I don't know what the right word is, but it wasn't as obvious. Uh, to me, I knew that something happened. I could kind of feel like a ringing in my ear, and then my sense of balance was gone. I felt like I couldn't balance myself, even while I was sitting down. Um, and it, I wouldn't really call it a dizziness, although it probably is some type of dizziness, but it was like I had no comprehension of balance. And that was very odd for me. And I had that kind of that... Um, that feeling or that thought like, hey, something's wrong, like something just happened that shouldn't be happening. Um, I got a little bit of a ringing in my right ear when my balance left and it all seemed to just like, boom, like it just happened. Like all of a sudden, like I'm fine one second, the next second, ringing in my ear, uh, sense of balance is gone. And then, you know, I... I was not thinking stroke. I just thought to myself, you know, wow, something's weird. Like, something's different. And uh, stroke actually never crossed my mind. And it wasn't until I was home later on. It was either later that night or the next morning where um, my wife asked if maybe I had a stroke. And I remember thinking, no, like, that's... <laughs> You know, that's nonsense. Of course I didn't. But I did. So, uh, there's even if you've seen someone go through a stroke, or even if you've had one before, um, the signs are not always the same. They could be drastically different. Um, my error in thinking was that I'm able to talk. I can fully mentally comprehend everything. I didn't lose any of my cognitive thinking. And I just thought, well, if I had a stroke, I wouldn't be like this. I would be, you know, I'd be passed out or I would feel some kind of pain or um, I wouldn't be able to carry on a conversation. But I, I was. I was fully able to carry on a conversation. Um, even when 911 was called and the ambulance came and the guys got me on the stretcher, um, even at that point, I didn't think anything. Um, and they asked me, you know, hey, do you think maybe you had a stroke? And I said, no, like, um, but I was talking to everybody, carry on full conversation in the ambulance. They got me to the hospital. Uh, I had a full conversation with the nurses and doctors and everything there. And then, um, I remember they took me out of the CT scan and uh, one of the doctors came up and said, you know, hey, it looks like you had a massive stroke. And I was talking and I was fine and I was just like, oh, like, really? Did I? And he's like, yeah, it's pretty bad. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and then he told me that my brain was bleeding. And then <laughs> that's where it got a little... Uh, you know, like, wait a minute, hold on a second. You know, like, I think my response to that was like, oh, really? And then I asked, so what's the plan? What are we going to do? And he said, well, we're probably going to have to take you into emergency surgery and put a hole in the top of your skull. 
and then put a drainage tube into your brain to relieve the pressure. Um, thankfully, none of that ended up happening, which is a whole nother story. But um, all the way up through that point, I was fully with it mentally. I was fully uh, cognitive. My thinking ability was fine. You know, like I could do math. I could think. I could figure things out. I could problem solve. Um, but part of my body was obviously not working. You know, like I lost function on my left side. Um, but just the main takeaway from that whole experience was that not everybody's stroke is the same. The signs are going to be different. Um, some are going to be obvious, some are not going to be obvious. So if you have anything like this, or if something just doesn't feel right, if you've lost any kind of senses, uh, mine, like I said, was balance. If you lost any of that, definitely go get checked out. 